Hey, what's up guys? Huawei is back with another phone that impressed in many ways. We have some interesting camera features and even some speaker solution here. So Huawei has managed to make a phone that sticks out in this hard competition in the phone market today. But is everything excellent with the Huawei P30 Pro? Let's find out. It's hard to say that it doesn't look good, as you have some really nice looking colors on the phone. You also have that screen that melts over the side. This is something we also see on Samsung's phones today. This has not always been my favorite, as it has a tendency to bend the picture at the end. But they're, they're almost um, something you don't see in this phone. It's a 6.47 inch OLED display that is bright and have uh, good colors. But, yes there is a but, it's not just a screen now. It even does work as a speaker now. Instead of that uh, traditional top front speaker, so do we here have an acoustic display technology that makes uh, vibration on the display act as a speaker. And I'm impressed how good this technology works. As I haven't noticed uh, that you have to hold the phone in a special way or that you can have uh, felt that there are some um, quality loss uh, between an ordinary speaker and this. So this uh, technology seems to be working really good. Under the screen, so do we also have an optical fingerprint reader. And it's fast for being an in-display fingerprint reader. Not as fast or accurate as a physical fingerprint reader, but they are getting closer and closer now. And on the top, so do we also have a top notch for the front camera. This is a 32 megapixel f.2 selfie camera. When it comes to the back, so it's not just a color that looks astonishing. Also the lineup of cameras. Here do we have a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and a 40 megapixel super spectrum camera and the 8 megapixel telephoto camera. And then we have the flash and the Huawei time of flight camera that handles depth information. You can easily say that the camera is the main thing here on this phone. And you can go from that wide angle lens uh, to get all this view. And then you can go up to one time zoom and even five times optical zoom. Then you have the 10 times uh, hybrid zoom. And even here you do you get a good quality. If you want to go, so you can even go up to 50 times zoom. And this is a crazy close, but here do you lose a lot of quality in the picture. Huawei has uh, rewritten the color censoring rule and with their uh, super spectrum lens so can you take better low light pictures now. You can even take pictures in almost no light at all and even get a quite good picture. And even the video quality is very satisfying here. So the only thing I could maybe complain about is that that wide angle lens should have a little bit more uh, sharpness in the edges. But this is a lens that I wish every smartphone had out there today. Because this is a lens that you can take some really cool pictures. So overall, I must say that uh, the Huawei P30 Pro has some really cool camera features here. And as expected, so do we have some good specifications here. We have a Kirin 980, an 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. And the phone is also IP68 classified, so it's dust and water resistant. And when it comes to phones that are dust and water resistant, so does some phones don't deliver so good sound when it comes to the speakers. But I must say the speaker here delivers a really excellent sound. But you only have one speaker, so no stereo sound here. Something that also delivers is the battery. You have a 4200 milliamp battery. And this is not even um, something I've been close to drain in one full day. So the battery is very excellent here. You also have fast charging. So you can charge your phone in 30 minutes. You can come up to 70%. And this is really good. You also have wireless charging and even reverse charging. So you can use your phone as a wireless charger and uh, maybe save your friends dying phone or a charger wireless headset. Even this is not the fastest way, so can this be uh, useful in some situations? I did get a question if the phone has an infrared sensor. Yes, it has. It also has a built-in uh, remote control software. So you can directly use your smartphone as a remote control to control your TV or other technical stuff at home that uses remote controls. And if you would like to support my channel, have I put up a Patreon page where you can go in and see some behind the scenes and I'm also going to put up uh, some example pictures I take from cameras on smartphones so you can get some examples there. I'm also uh, going to put a link below so you can find all the information there. For you who like to uh, see my next review, you can press that like button and also the subscribe button. And also press that uh, bell button so you get a notification when next review is online. But for now guys, over and out.